Hey, 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 friends! Episode 166 of Dub Life coming at ya. It is dark. It's only uh, 6.49. It's not that late. But, of course, we're in that time where the sun goes down so early. Uh, I just uh, been running a few errands. I actually made a hunt video earlier today with Kaya that, uh, as you're watching this, will probably come out maybe next week? I don't know. I'm trying to get ahead on content. Uh, it is right now, let's see, it's Wednesday the 29th of December, and you'll be watching this on January 9th, I think, this episode of Double Life. So, uh, I've been off, you know, I'll, I took about two weeks off at the end of the year for work. So, I've had some time, spend time with the family, with the girls, uh, friends, that type of thing, and uh, make some videos. And I try to get ahead. Um, I often try to stay ahead on my videos, but especially this time of year because after taking a couple weeks off work, uh, it gets really busy in January, especially about the second week of January. Things kick up considerably, so I don't know how much time I'll have to make content, so I'll try to get a little bit ahead so I don't miss a week. Uh, so we did. Kai and I went out, uh, picked up some things, uh, a hunt video that you'll see soon, and uh, I want to remind you, um, hashtag BDubFit. B-E-D-U-B-F-I-T. Uh, as I'm sitting here today, the challenge hasn't formally started because it's not January yet. But as you're watching this, we should be about a week into it. Uh, myself, Seth, hopefully some others have joined in. And uh, on Instagram, if you use that hashtag, BDubFit, hopefully I'll put it along the trail there. Uh, if you use that hashtag on Instagram and you're posting something related to health, improvement of your life, stop smoking, eat better, play less video games, whatever it is, something that it helps you. It doesn't have to just be weight and working out driven, just something that improves your life. Uh, I'll do a random generator thing that'll pick a comment or somehow I'll figure it out. Uh, early in February, in the month of January, the Instagram winner will uh, receive something. So I've on these hunt videos, if you've been watching the hunt videos that have been coming out and you continue to watch them, that's the purpose of the hunt video is for me to find things to put in the giveaway. Uh, that's kind of my goal. So you can see it picked up through the month and you'll know kind of what's there. Uh, we're going to have, you know, NECA things, Marvel Legends, that type of stuff. And the winner will get to pick whatever they want. So I'll probably say that in several videos all through the month of January so people understand how the giveaway works. Uh, and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, I got an errand to run. Uh, I do need to go to a Target uh, and pick something up and a Walgreens. So I thought I'd start this video uh, then tomorrow, uh, all kickboxing is closed for the New Year's holiday now for the rest of the week. Um, I'm off work. Kai is off school. I think Natalie's taking some time off work. So uh, we'll have some fun running around. Victoria's going to come visit. We'll see what we do. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing for New Year's yet, but we'll find out together. I know that. Uh, but there's some things to open that I hope Kai will open. we got to open uh, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader, the Hyper Reel. Finally, hopefully, we'll open the amazing Yamaguchi. And we have all her Christmas presents that we got to do something with that we haven't done anything with yet. Got a bunch of Marvel Legends to open up. Uh, I know she wants to open up some Pokemon cards. So I don't know what all of that will happen in this episode. But across the next several episodes, we will deal with those things. Um, we also have a new entertainment center coming in to do some reorganization in the living room. I'll show you that as it happens. Uh, but for this, right now, we're going to go to Walgreens. We're going to go to Target, do a little hunt you know, in a dub life, and uh, then we'll see how uh, the rest of the episode goes. But hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a good Christmas and good New Year's as you're watching this. And January has started off strong for you. Uh, I got big goals for New Year's. Uh, I want to get down to 225, but still keep my muscle bulk and my speed and some of the athleticism I've developed this year, but that also came with extra weight. Uh, I want to be able to kick and punch stronger, even stronger than I can now at kickboxing and do all those things. Uh, but more importantly, I want to help Seth get to his goal, get under 200 pounds. I want to help uh, Josh get to any, he, any goals he has, or any of you. Whatever the goals you have you set, uh, I want us, as we get to this time next year, the end of December next year, as I'm filming this, we're all celebrating. And we've had a year full of giveaways and celebrations and good times. So hopefully we get to do that. All right, I'll talk to you when I get to the Walgreens. It's still dark, you probably see me a little bit better. As we go into the Walgreens. I don't think I've been to this Walgreens in a while. Is there anything even at Walgreens I would want? I don't know. I guess we'll find out together. Rub it, rub it, rub it. And Becky Lynch that's been here forever. Another Becky Lynch. Deathstroke. That Deathstroke's actually kind of a cool figure. Ah! I want to go down. Batgirl. I'm sorry, Batgirl. 
I'll fix you in a moment. Baraka. Beefcake in it. Yeah. Is there any Marvel Legends? Man. All right, I'm gonna have to fix everything I'm knocking over. Not a single Marvel Legend at all. What's this? <laughs> What's this? There's some weird things. Nope. Not a single Marvel Legend. I don't even know that any of our Walgreens carry Marvel Legends anymore. It sure doesn't feel like they do. Baseball cards. Uh, Alright, let me get what I came here for and move on to Target. Just weird stuff happens when you go out to a bunch of stores. And today I've been to two Walmarts, a Target and GameStop already. Now Walgreens and another Target I'll be at. I got an Arizona Diet Peach Tea. Which I am certain is going to taste not very good. But it's diet. only has five calories. And I wanted a little drink to wet the whistle. You know. But let me tell you what was interesting about that. Sorry for shaking. Encounter. So in the Walgreens, picking up some things that Natalie needed. And the gentleman in front of me had three Christmas, like, pencils. Like, a pencil with Santa on it and a snowman. And one of them had a little glitter. Something like that, right? And obviously, this is after Christmas, a few days after Christmas. And so those things are discounted pretty heavily. And I don't know how much a Christmas pencil is to begin with. Not terribly expensive, I wouldn't guess. This gentleman had nice clothes on, wearing Sperry's, had a Ralph Lauren polo shirt on. You know, so he's probably doing all right. You know, doing all right. And uh, so he has all three items. And he wants to price check all three. All of them, every one of them, came back like 45 cents. Something like that. 42 cents. All cheap. Three different things. And then he hems and haws for a good 15 seconds. And I'll have these two. And, and in my head, I'm like, what am I observing here? <laughs> like, what's happening? And uh, and so then I'm, you know, because normally in situations like this, I'm trying to evaluate and figure out, okay, what's happened? I'm like, well, maybe the guy only has $1. Or maybe it's like for his uh, grandkid and they gave $1 and he, whatever. So, uh, so it needs to be under a dollar. So he picks the two. After what has now been going on probably two minutes since the beginning, since he got to the register ahead of me and asked for price checks and all that. And the total comes up to be like 97, 98 cents. So I'm like, here it comes. He's just going to pull out the single dollar and pay with it. Nope. Amex Platinum Card. Amex Platinum Card. And Amex Platinum Card ain't easy to get. You, you got to be doing all right to get an Amex Platinum Card. And, uh, and then he walks out with his sack of two Christmas pencils. And uh, I'm certainly not passing judgment, not one bit. I just don't know what I just saw. Like, what was that? What happened? Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, on to Target. Hello, Target. How are you? Uh, one thing I'm going to look for in Target, because earlier today we found the Target exclusive Ghostbusters 2-pack. And Kai really enjoyed that Ghostbusters movie. So I might see if they have the other kids, because she wanted that. If I can find another two-pack, I might put it on a giveaway, because that two-pack's fun. But here we are. Target it is. Starting my Target journey with a cart. I'm optimistic. It's also dangerous. I go over there and look at the Pokemon card, see if they have any of the new set. Starting with a cart is a danger, but it means I'm going to find something. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. That gentleman seems to be looking at the Pokemon, too. It says Cats versus Pickles. Uh, I think we have all the big ones. James has been helping us with that. They have these. These are new. They're new to me. Urshifu V, Single Strike, VMAX, League Battle Deck. This is one of those where every card is the same in the back and you like use it. So there's like a red one. Is this the same? League Battle Deck. Rapid Strike. Oh, and Single Strike. That was $30. I don't know about that. Fusion Strike is the new one. Evolving Skies, I think we have a whole uh, booster box of. What's in this guy? What does it come with? I'm not sure. Can I see? I don't think it's any of those. Uh, hmm. 
What to do, what to do. Uh, Cause are they limiting it to two? They have been limiting it to two. Might just get a couple booster, booster packs of the new one. Maybe there's two of these guys. Yep, let's see what's back there. Yeah, I think I'll get two of those. I looked on Amazon. These, uh, the Urshifu decks are, they're $29.99 here. They're already at like $19.99 on Amazon. So, and those, those decks that were, if you're not familiar, they just list, there's no mystery. It just lists all the cards. So it's like starter decks or whatever, so you can use to play. Uh, so we'll save that for another day. Um, but I am curious about this. It's the same kind of thing. Dragon Ball Z Super card game, Darkness Reborn. It's the same thing. It lists all the cards that come in it, but I've not seen that. And I'm terrified to look up. Um, is there another one? It's all this one. Like Bardock on it. Is that Bardock? Yeah. The card looks cool in there, but I do not want to have to start hunting another set of card stuff, but it's tempting. If you know anything about that game, leave it in the comments. Well, on to the figure aisle. I just got the two Pokemon cards. Because that Dragon Ball thing is... It's cheaper here than it is on Amazon by a dollar, but it's readily available. I need to do some research. See if that's something that'd be fun to play. Kai and I need to play Pokemon before I buy any more cards. Lego aisle. Plenty of Eternals. I don't think anything else we need there. Let's see. Pokemon. Purple Passion. Hot Wheels building set. Oh, these Halo Mega Constructs guys. Platoon pack. Hmm. All those Skeletor skulls. Pokemon Mega Constructs. <laughs> Again, a million flower bouquets at Targets. Those used to be so hard to find. Now they're everywhere. Oh, I wish it was this thing that was $83.99. I'd be purchasing it, but it's $150. I want it to be. Maybe they'll clearance out some of this stuff. I like that Sesame Street too, but I'd like it to go a little cheaper. Since I got a Target card, I get 5% off, but you also get those rewards at Lego store if you buy them. So the deal is when they, at Target, put Lego on sales, 20% off FAO Schwartz, and you use your Target card, that's the ticket. That is the ticket. None of that is anything we need. Imperial Probe Droid. And a little better stocked Star Wars section. Let's go look at figures. Eternals and Cap. These are just going to be there forever. I'm tempted to get an Icarus and make that one of the figures to give away, but I don't think anybody would want it. But I think that's the one of the best Marvel Legends they've made in a long time. So McFarlane up here. Pretty normal stuff. That Faker is on sale at some targets. Maybe not at this one. John Hammond. Uh, let's see. League of Legends, Thresh. I don't think anybody's buying that stuff. Plentiful. Actually, this, this aisle is pretty good and stocked. Here. Power Ranger Andros. It's all that. Uh, Battle Cat, Battle Cat, Battle Cat. Lots. Three different versions of Battle Cat. Oh, yeah. The Faker is on sale here. I picked that up. That'll be available in the uh, B-Dub Fit giveaway. Skelegod, He-Man, Skeletor. These are on sale too, $15. That's right, Dinosaur. Lando, that's everywhere. Poor Lando. Oh, this is the new wave. She is from the new wave, right? Series 7. Who else is in that? Lance Archer, Dax Harwood, Cash Wheeler, Matt, Nick, and Nyla. Hmm. Why did I just put that in the thing? I should have. Oh boy. Oh, calamity, Ganon. My goodness. I had to fix it. I keep saying I'm not going to buy any more of those. You got to keep buying them. What am I going to do? They have new elites. This, I haven't seen this series. 87. Who's in 87? Escobar. He's right there. Uh, Apollo Crews. Let's see. The Oscar's over there. She looks good. Sorry with that pull. Yeah, she's cool. And Candice LeRae. She looks good too. Who else? Let's see. Otis. That's the Apollo Crews, Santos, and Braun. So just Otis. If Otis is here, the entire 
Series 87 this year. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's Otis. All right, I got to stop. Even one Series 88. Trish Stratus. None of the rest of those are here, though. But that Junkyard Dog is cool. He's cool. What's up there? Edge. Is that an edge? Is that what I'm looking at? Yeah, WrestleMania edge. A pretty good wrestling section today. Pretty good. Thought about picking up that Trish Stratus for the giveaway. Uh, the items for the giveaway, but I don't know if people are into that. That's a good thing to ask. Episode of Dub Life for the B-Dub Fit Challenge. What types of things would you like to see in the giveaway? I know people are going to say hot toys. I can't do that. I got to do a figure every month. Um, so, you know, it's going to be things that are regularly available at retail, maybe harder to find ones, but things that are available. Uh, so, you know, NECA stuff and whatever. Um, what, uh, WWE Elite be a good one, and you'll have an option, right? There'll be three or four things you can pick from if you win. So, I don't know. All right, let's keep looking here. More Legends, Mobius, Athena. That's a Target exclusive. All these Eternals, Cyclops. Oh, let's see. I think that's about that whole wave of those. Uh, Joe's the same. Peg warmers forever. I wonder if the Lady J's and Flint's have been clearanced out because they don't seem to be quite as abundant as they once were. Or did just people finally buy them? Uh, what's this? Oh, he's struggling. That box. $34.99. It was Optimus Prime, I might would get it because these things have gotten a hold of me suddenly and it's a, it's bad. It's a bad. Bad cycle is cool. The Joker, the criminal. Aquaman. I think that's a pretty good figure. I think that's a pretty good one. Spider Man Far From Home, the Armadillo Wave of Legends is gone. Long gone. And those are pretty easy to come by uh, for a time. But since that movie's been out, long gone over here is sometimes a clearance section before we go to the neck of funko there's a lot of stuff over here let's check it out not clearance but like the christmas leftover toys a whole bunch of castle gray skull uh, all right clearance must have moved it used to be over here let's go over there to the neck of funko section a whole bunch of gremlins Fair amount of aliens. Is there a predator? Let's see. Oh, there's an alpha predator. <laughs> a bunch of Napoleon Attila one wing nut screw loose. What's up here? Don't copyright me. The music is loud right here. Alpha predator is pretty cool. Don't copyright me. YouTube, yeah, piggy dog with puppies. What about these? Should I put these on the giveaway? Nobody ever wants to buy those. Stranger Things. I saw an interesting... Let's see where those figures are. They'll be here. The, uh... The Tamashi Stranger Things figure. Those right there. That nobody buys. I saw those on the hunt video today at Walmart with a cassette tape. It was interesting. Oh, I haven't seen the Riddler, I don't think. I like that. I like the Riddler. I don't know what they... Are those $17.99? I don't know what the price is on those, but they tempt me. But I must stay away. I must stay away. Deku model, Son Goku, Rose. All right. I think we'll just pick up the Nyla Rose and that's it. Just realize these are at 1249. It's not the spawn figure though. It's the Peacemaker and the Bloodsport, which is interesting. Uh, so those could be some things to pick up for giveaways because i scan the other ones and they don't come up i'm gonna actually go over there and look and see if the other dc figures are ringing up half price very confusing <clears throat> it looks like it's just the suicide squad ones and they're half price uh so if they had all of them that'd be great because you could build king shark for 50 bucks and have the four figures too but they had two of them polka dot man's very hard to find harley you can find sometimes um, but i'm gonna pick those two up make them available uh, for the B-Dub Fit giveaway, probably. Um, like, bringing them up on the Target ad is different. I had to go to the scanner, like that red one. Because things ring up differently on the Target app than uh, what the in-store price is. And I guess that's because that's the online price. So, like, there was, like, the Batman Earth 2 Drowned Batman that rang up for, like, 11 bucks in the app. 
but in store is gonna be 20. So I'm just gonna pick up these two that ring up correctly. Add them to the list. Why am I? Oh, I gotta look for a protein bar. All right, I'll talk to you here in a minute. Ladies, feast your eyes on the grocery set. I had to get some grocery stuff for supper. Some stuff to go with tacos. That's why I went to Target, really. Although, Target is not a place I'd normally go for groceries, but the Walgreens is right there. I knew I wanted to see if I could find something, do a little hunt, so I chose Target. Uh, probably pay more than I should for groceries. Usually I just go to Kroger, but it works out. Okay. Uh, probably the end of what we'll do tonight. we got to make dinner at home, do some stuff, other things around the house. But we'll pick it up tomorrow with something. I don't know what, but with something. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Hey, Kyle. Yeah. It's not tomorrow, but are you excited about uh, chicken and rice? Well, taco section? Well, taco Wednesday? Um, yeah. Yeah? Um. Oh, safety. Uh. Hello, it's the next day, the day before New Year's Eve. And as you can hear and see, it is yucky, rainy which makes things not very fun. I am right outside Nemo Aquarium because I need to uh, pick up some things for the aquarium at home. Um, we have two very temperamental clownfish and they've been laying eggs recently and thus they kill everything. They just kill everything. They attack the coral. They'll like, even when we like, you, you like use like a glue and you glue it to the rocks, they'll like duh, 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 knock it up five minutes after you put it there. So they're killing everything. Which is very frustrating. So we're just gonna let that tank be the clownfish tank, um, and but they won't they won't mess with like shrimp or yeah like well they actually do they hurt the shrimp, but like snails and uh, crabs that clean their poop up at the bottom of the tank they won't mess with those. So I need some more of those because uh, they've just been a pain in the butt. And then we had a pump die which impacted some things. So uh, Natalie and Kai cleaned up the tank real good yesterday and uh, we need some more friends to live in the bottom of the tank to help keep things clean basically crabs and snails maybe a shrimp uh, if there's one maybe a starfish but no other fish and no other coral because these fish are mean loki and thor they are mean they just want it to be for them uh, so i'm i'm in duluth uh way down at nemo aquarium and uh, there's some other things to do around here but it's so yucky i don't know if i'm gonna do it but let's go into fish store See, Nemo Aquarium right next to Whole Fitness. Oh, the main reason I'm not actually here is to get more salt water, so I gotta get these buckets filled up as well. Always a fun store to come into. Look how cool their little tanks they got set up are. Look at that reef tank. Don't copyright me, let's look at the fish even though I can't have them. I like that guy. He's cool. Our tank is small too, so like, things we could potentially have, like that little purple guy we could get. But I'm just scared that, especially Loki, Loki just attacks them all. I think Thor has just become his accomplice. I don't want that fish. I don't think that's what that fish is. $20? Oh, it's like a fish I'm not allowed to have. David put me on punishment. Those are like little baby Lokis. That's how big Loki was when I got him. One of those guys. Oh, that fish. You can't really see him, can you? Is he dead? Well, he's moving. That's interesting. That's uh, like a little baby Thor. Hey, buddy. So they have lots and lots of fish. And then in the middle, I got all these coral that I am not going to put in our tank because they just kill them. At least not right now. It's always neat. Look at the overhead view. I think it's always neat to look at all the stuff they have in here. They're getting my salt water ready, but over there is where the stuff we'll be actually shopping for. But I want to take you through in case you've never been to a saltwater aquarium store. We have a, actually several really nice ones in the area. And there's their big tank, which is just awesome. All that cool stuff. Look at all these clownfish, so that's a bunch of clownfish in there. They must have just got fed, they're happy. Alright, let's go look at the shrimp and what have you. I don't know if I showed this guy a second ago, but I like him. Our tank is nowhere big enough for him. He's cool. I like him a lot, he's cool. 
Or she, maybe? I don't know. Look at these big, big, big fish. He's cool. That guy's really cool. It's like a cow and a cheetah print. Man, that's a cool fish. Man, that guy's huge. I mean, he's too big for this tank, even. That's a big old fish. That looks like a fish you catch in the, in the lake. Huh. They love coming in here. Alright, we're gonna get some of these snails. Baby Nasaria snails. Maybe margarita snails. Uh, we're definitely gonna get hermit crabs. Are there any shrimp in there? There's a shrimp back there. I think there's one. Fire shrimp. Look at that guy. Must be the mantis shrimp. Serpent star. Is there a serpent star in there? Alright. Let me figure out what I need to get and get out of here. Feast your eyes on those sacks. Uh, I am 0.5 miles away from the Lego store. I got a shrimp, new shrimp, new starfish, 10 new crabs, five new snails. I'll show you those when we get back home. The shrimp is beautiful. He is gorgeous. Um, so hopefully these fish will leave them alone. I talked to the guy that helps us with the tank here. This, of course, David helps us a lot. And he said if they're because the fish are breeding now, uh, they're just not going to like any other fish or coral because, you know, they're, that tank is just their home. So we're going to have to get a bigger tank, which I don't want to do right now. Or just let it be theirs, which is what we're going to do for a while. We'll just let it be the fish's uh, home until we decide if we want to go to a bigger one. Uh, the thing, I'm hesitant, it's rainy, it's yucky, but also now I've got all this these buckets of water in the back. And, you know, you do not want that to tip over uh, while you're driving. So I just kind of want to go right back to the house, but I'm so close to the Lego store, I think we'll swing in. Feeling good. I made it the half a mile without water spilling. Uh, it's actually not that hard once I get back on the interstate and drive 30 minutes back to my house because you're on the interstate the whole time. It's when you have to stop and turn and you hear it sloshing around. You're like, man, 15 gallons of salt water just pours all over the back of the vehicle. That's a bad day, but we'd make the best of it. We'd just have to have an ocean party, take my shirt off, you know, get down in my skivvies, have a little swim, right? I don't know. I'm at the Sugarloaf Mall. This is the weird mall we come to every once in a while. Uh, and the only Lego store we have in our area, at least close enough to me. There may be another one in Marietta, I don't remember. Uh, this is the one that has the interesting, um, like all the weird airsoft gun things. It has the sneaker store. That's pretty good, but very expensive. And, uh, this is, sometimes we go to this, we saw Eternals here. I think we saw Spider-Man here, actually. We've been going to this theater more because it's a nice AMC. Uh, but we go here now a lot more often than we used to. That's where we are. All I'm going to do, all, Brian, all you're doing, Lego store. No sneaker store. Lego store only. Look at the Lego store. They've got a huge display out here. I think that's the first time I've seen the Titanic built out. Man, that thing. That's got to be four feet long. I want the ATAT -AT, UCS, the new one. It's like never in stock. I wonder if they have it in stock. Uh, the public gunship is pretty cool. That piano is especially, especially cool. Barcelona. That's the Harry Potter set the direct the Lego store set. Oh, the artwork all together looks nice there. Uh, all right, let's go in. I like that typewriter a lot. I need to see what promotions they're running. I've been kind of waiting for a double points or who knows what. The Mario course, Luigi. Lego shelves are actually relatively empty today. Hmm. We have all the creators. We don't have a train station. Do I have the Disney castle? Ah, I don't remember. I think we did get that. But we never got the roller coaster. I don't know if that's still available. Piano. We have Winnie the Pooh. We want that. That's one I've seen at Target. I need that to go on sale at Target. Uh, we've got the Cantina and this public gunship. We do have this. I've got that for Natalie. We gotta get to building some of our big sets. We just don't have anywhere to put them. I really should get another of the Adidas shoe so that we can have a right and left shoe. Let me go over there. Oh, they do have a ATAT. -AT. I got a bunch of points too. Do they have the Star Destroyer? They do not. I think that guy's gonna be retired soon. That's awesome. Yeah, they sold most out. I guess Christmas time. Most of the Marvel stuff's gone. No Daily Bugle. Things cool. 
bone, baby. Well, let me decide if I'm gonna get that AT AT. I gotta see how many points I've got. I do like this pickup truck. Oh, they have it on display. I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. It's just kind of old timey. What is this? Idea six. Is that a new idea six? I don't see that. Oh, that's the home alone house. That's what that is. That's neat too. Cool stuff. Man, that thing is so cool. It is so cool. It's gonna be a good boy. I'm fleeing. I'm fleeing. I wanted that ad app. I specifically wanted to see if it was here. It was here. I don't think they have it online, but I'm fleeing. Uh, for a variety of reasons. One being, uh, we have way too many unbuilt Lego sets. We probably have 50, including the Falcon, Hogwarts, Diagon Alley. We have some big, big ones that we got to build and find a place for. That's part of the problem. We have nowhere to put them. Uh, secondly, there's no promotions right now. No gift with purchase, no double points, no anything. So if you're going to buy a $700 set, uh, it's not that you're buying that set for anything but the set, but like if sometimes, some months, you can get, you know, three extra things with it, or you can get double points, you can get a free whatever. Uh, that's the time to do it. Especially for the big Star Wars sets, even though it'll be hard, they'll get sold out, but like on, uh, you know, May the 4th and some of those kinds of things, they'll have, yes, they'll have uh, promotions, you know, 10% points or whatever. So we'll hold off. We'll hold off. But man, that thing looks super cool. All right, I gotta, you look at it. Just weapons. Such a weird mall. I gotta start my treacherous drive back home and uh, continue on the fishy journey. Safety. Well, it looks like a disaster zone here, but I did get home without spilling anything. I guess Kaya's trying to get her Christmas presents opened, and apparently she's just using the living room as the trash can. But here, let me show you what we got at the fish store. But first, I had a couple packages. These are some kickboxing shorts, Venom brand, which are the gloves that Natalie wears. Uh, oh, those are actually pretty cool with like the Spartan helmet. Uh, I'm just trying out a bunch of different uh, shorts and stuff to work out in because when you, especially in kickboxing, you want like these compression, like this type of like MMA short because uh, you want your legs to swing and I'm trying to invest in myself for this B-Dub Fit Challenge for 2022. So I'm getting myself a new product. And then shout out to Andrew Bogish. Thank you very much, Andrew, who helped me get this guy. Uh, of course, this is one I sold. So this will be the second one that I've bought back that I've sold. Uh, but one of the few Goku versions uh, that we don't have. Now that's not, obviously there's a lot of power down Gokus and a lot of Saiyan Gokus, but just, you know, a different design with the shirt ripped um, that we didn't have. The other one, we need Goku black with the black hair. The new Goku Rosé doesn't have it. So Andrew helped me get that. Thank you very much, Andrew. And then over here, uh, we've got some hermit crabs. Can you see those guys in there? We got some snails in there. Got a bristly starfish and a fire shrimp. He's beautiful too. So we got to get these acclimated before we put them in the tank. Let me show you the tank over there. And we got to acclimate them up and then we'll stick them in there and uh, let them get to know their new fish friends, which you see both there. You guys are being mean to everything. You want me to take that starfish out and let you hold it? Ow. Why is there a trash mountain? Because I was, I was organizing. Look at this. This says Dragon Ball Super. We're watching Dragon Ball Super. Yeah. It says size four and a half. Who wears that size? Um, what size is mom wearing? Oh, she wears a three and a half. <laughs> Who wears a four and a half? I, I do. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't know whose that is. You want that? You gonna open it and make the starfish come out? No, no, no. Other way. Dipping? Other way. Oh, are we gonna open all these now? Yay! I'm gonna open it here. Oh, I thought we we're gonna open up the Marvel Legends. Oh, trunks on it. Oh, there's trunks on it. Oh, these are their trunks, dude. They're trunk shoes. Christmas present just got here a slightly bit late. Do you like them? Thank you. Are you gonna keep that box too? The the box is actually pretty cool. Even the paper is cool. Oh, that is cool. 
All right. Look, you have this venom in, venomized Punisher. He's got to go into symbiotes. When are we going to open all this? Soon? We can open it very soon. Very soon. It comes with a background, oh, which gear? is fully laminated and like plastic. And he comes with effects That's for him, one right? of his That's moves. right? Yes. He's not as cool as, as Beast Boy. Boar Boy is the best character in all of Demon Slayer. Okay, I will agree with you that that figure is He's awesome. really cool. He's awesome. I was debating so for gonna like clean up this five pile minutes, of trash now? Which head to put on him. I, I am going to clean okay. up the trash. Okay, thank you. That kiddo. Uh, she had all of her stuff piled up, which I think I showed in this video or recently in a video, hunt video, I don't know. She had it all piled up from Christmas. She had a lot of stuff from Christmas. If you watched the Christmas last episode, I think it was the last episode you saw. Uh, a bit, uh, a significant amount overboard I went, but that's okay. First kind of full Christmas as a family. We already had conversations. This year, we got to scale way, way back in everything that we do. Honeymoon stage needs to be over. Uh, but, you know, uh, we blessed and able to do it. Uh, so, thankful that we did it. But she enjoyed it. Uh, but all she's done is play Switch. Like, that's all she's done. Uh, and when she runs around with me to go hunting. But, like, if, if we're at the house, she just plays Switch. That's it. She got a bunch of Switch games. And so, understandably, and... We wanted to have everything put away and unboxed and whatever before New Year's Eve, which is tomorrow, so that we could have company over uh, if we decide to. And so this morning or this afternoon, none of it was put up. And I said, well, do you want me to just take this all and sell it? Because apparently you don't want it because all you're doing is playing the one single Switch game you've been playing for like 50 hours. Uh, so she got motivated to get her act together. So hopefully tonight we'll get all of her stuff cleaned up put away and what have you uh we're gonna hang those dragon stars on the wall in a room i'll show you that if we get it all done uh, we're gonna try uh i do i'm supposed to be on a live stream with og geek and what's popping tonight uh in about five hours i plan to do that um but i think natalie and kyle will work on the stuff in her room and uh, we'll see how it goes so right now uh because she hasn't eaten all day because she didn't have her stuff done uh, so she didn't get to run out with me. I'm going to go get her some McDonald's because that's what she wants, and that's okay. A few more days, and then we got to buckle it down for B-Dub Fit. And for you, hopefully you've already been doing it for a couple weeks. And me too, hopefully I have been because I need to do better. Uh, but I'm going to pick that up for her, and then we'll get to work on her room. Uh, we'll update you as we go. If we open those Marvel Legends, maybe I'll show you, or I'll at least show you once we get them open one way or another. I don't know that I'll film it all because it makes it take longer and we really need to get it done. Uh, but that's the plan. That's the plan. Well, it's a couple hours later. This still looks the same and that looks the same. Oh! oh. Natalie's here. Hey. And we've got the uh, creatures acclimated. Alexa, well, you're being naughty. Oh. So we're going to put them in the new tank. Give them a new home. So what you do is you fill it, take out some of its water from the store and you put some of this water in it for 30 minutes and then you do it again for 30 minutes with a little bit more. And now that they've been living in basically this water for an hour or so, they can uh, go live. So now They're the hermit crabs are gonna go in there. Now they rearrange the rocks a little bit to create some different little structures for everything. And then you just kind of Stick it in there and dump it all out. It's kind of the way it works, you know. That is kind of the way it works. It's kind of the way it works. So it's not not too challenging. I think now if it was a fish, it works the same general way. It might take a little more time. So you do that, do that, and let the crabbies go to their new home. Do you think they're just going to immediately run around and go, yay, I'm free? Or do you think they're going to just be in their shell? Like, What's happened? What's happened to me? Um, Probably run around free, I would think. Oh, they're wrestling. Uh-oh! They got the crabbies and the snails in there. Now time for the big starfish. How do you think I should do him? Oh, uh, I think you can do the same thing. You can also just grab him. He'll probably come out. Yeah. He'll probably okay. just work his way out. Mr. Octopus. He looks like an octopus. Or a five to push. A five-topus? No, I'm going to say it now. Pentapus sounds like a, a bad thing. It does. Sounds naughty. 
doesn't. Come on, starfish. Come on out to your new home. Woo! Dump it all out. He's Come big. On. He's a good size. He's a. There he goes. Come on out. Give it a little shaky shake. Get Shaking it. it. Shaky. Should we play like I like big butts and I cannot lie and see if that'll get him to come out? <laughs> it might. He does not want to come out, does he? Mm -mm. Check back in. Next clip. He has entered his domain. Oh, swimming it. Final one. Fire shrimp. Look how pretty he is. In He's there. very, very pretty. Look at this uh, snail orgy going on down there. <laughs> I mean, uh, what? And while the fish are over here in their new little alcove, like, what's happening? Y'all get out of my house. This is some foolishness. I'm gonna swim your way out, buddy. He's like, oh, I don't know, dip, <laughs> dip. I don't know what's happening. He's, Why? He's trying to go the opposite oh, way. That's the wrong way. Go out the there. Way. Go on out your hole. He's, he is like just completely no, no, no. What is he no. doing, buddy? Hooray! And he's off. Where did he go? He's way back there. Found a rock right away. Well, once it calms down from being disturbed, I'll show you. Oh, okay. so our media is like, hey, hey, buddy. He's back here. The rock and the fisher. So he's like, what are you? Why are you here? Oh, four. Oh, it's like they're kissing. Oh, our big snail came out from underground to meet all his new friends. He's got a crab on his butt. He does. He's like, what? Maybe what he's doing? been waiting for somebody to clean it out, you know, like a bidet. That's true. The shrimp's just over here hiding. He's not exactly sure what's going on. Don't be mean to him, fish. Why y'all mean to everybody? Leave him alone. He's going to clean up your poo-poo for you. He's a friend. All right, we'll fast forward to uh, hopefully... Dragon Ball stuff on the wall or something. Maybe me live streaming. I think things are going good. Mr. Shrimpy's over here now. They seem to be leaving him alone now after being mean for a little while. Starfish, you can see his tentacles. He's weaving his way. There he is, dangling all throughout there. And the crabs and snails are just doing what crabs and snails do. No, it's blurry. I'm sorry. This new phone activates the macro lens when you get too close and it can be a little frustrating. Let's check on the girls. How's it going? It's going. It's, it, it is going. You just go over there, you got trunks and you're caressing them. This is... Um, oh, look at that shelf. Sandman fall down. Again? He keeps falling. It's yeah. always You down. may have to use the other base where he's coming out of the sand. I might. You may have to. Or I can get you a... Maybe I can help you with that. Kai's been redoing all her detox, and now, so you're gonna put these up on the wall the way like my turtles are, like uh -huh. this? Yes. Have you measured how many can fit up there? No, no. I was going to. Unknown! Well, that's that. a lot. There's a lot. I gotta go get on a live stream here in a minute with what's popping and OG Geek. Do you think I should sit outside on the porch with a snifter and light up the KFC fire log for the year end live stream? Oh, goodness. Please don't let it get to that. Oh, no, you're going to come smell it and enjoy it. <laughs> you should. Okay. I should? All right. I guess that's what I'm going to do while the girls work on this, and we'll catch back up with them later. Well, some progress is being made before I light up the chicken fire. We're only on Series 6. Well, that's all right. Well, we're on the back porch, so i got to get this set up. i got the fire pit, fire log, and I'll bring my laptop out here. Try to get it set up and enjoy the nice little, it's nearly actually been quite warm here in Atlanta recently, but I'll set it up out here for an interesting live stream. That's what I think I'll do. Uh, what do I have to do? Let me read the instructions and we'll check back in in a moment. Better than firewood. Uh, none of that. Burn one or two fire logs at a time. Just make sure you don't eat it. Best enjoy family and friends. Well, that's not really very helpful. Not actually fried chicken. I think I probably just stick it in there and set it on fire, right? Like that's what I do. Well, we've got this open. Still says not actually fried chicken. Here's the 2021 edition. Uh, all right, well, gotta keep going. I mean, fully open fireplace, tear open seam 
and loosen wrapper. So I guess you light it in this thing, All right? Please don't burn. Yeah, tear here at this seam. Well, how do I tear that? And then you light it. I guess you light the wrapper. That's like the thing to get it started. Oh boy. I think that's what it wanted me to do. Look at that. I mean, that's weird. That's weird. It already smelled like chicken in here, even without it being lit, but let's go. I think I'm supposed to light it down there, right? Catch on fire. Are you on fire? Yep, yeah, all right, you're on fire. Let's go to the, oh, okay. Are you on fire now? Gotta get you over here a little bit. I don't know if I got it there. What's your problem? This side, come on with it. That side is popping up, popping up, popping up, popping. That's what's pop. Oh, there we go. Oh, ho, 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 there it is. Let me be safe. Put my fire grate on. It says I always use a fire grate. I don't wanna hurt myself. All right. Now I gotta get my, uh, my live, I got this table here. I'm gonna use this for the live stream while I enjoy some chicken fire. Hey, look, now we're set up. Look, there's Seth. He said they can actually hear you, I oh, think. Oh, we're, we're dubbing it? What's popping it? What's popping it? Seth, I'm going to try to live stream on the back porch by a KFC fire. Oh, it must smell finger looking good. It, I mean, it's what it says. That's what the box says. It smells finger looking good. It's a fire log. Ooh. The K 2021 version. I want to. happened to me this afternoon after eating Taco Bell. Oh, I hear you. We're going to test it while we're on Dub Life. Let's see. All right, I'm going to have to lower the camera a little bit. You can see the rolling fire. That's lovely. You can, you can see that. I just need to sit in a higher chair, I think. We might, we might have the first house fire live stream. All right. <laughs> well, Dub Life, uh, OG Geek's going to be on here in a minute. And, uh, that's true. I'm sure he can set you up locally. God forbid something happens. That's true. Well, all right, let me get set up. Uh, Dub Life, folks, we'll talk to you uh, after Seth and Mike and I do our uh, end of the year live stream with the chicken log. Uh, by, by the way, uh, hashtag B Dub Fit. B Dub Fit, that's right. Touch it. Hashtag B Dub Fit, don't forget. There's just, yeah, I, I, it's just in my ears. You can't hear it. You can't hear Seth anymore. Seth, Seth was just uh, talking about how much he loves uh, Marvel Legends Build the Figures. That's what he was talking about. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Spanking. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. See, that's it. That's, he likes to give the, the fist up the butt of the Build-A-Figure armadillo. That's what that, that's what that signal was, yes. Ooh. Ah, you can't hear the music, but it's counting down. We're going live. There's fire. Ooh, ooh, ah. Well, that was a lot of fun. I don't know if Mike's going to leave it up on his channel, but go check it out. Uh, as you're watching this, it would be a couple weeks ago. We had a good time. We talked about what's new for our channels. We talked about the B-Dub fit and some whatnot stuff, uh, which if you've not followed David and I on whatnot, uh, Double D Collectibles 5, it's in the link, please, in the description, please find it. Let's see how the girls did. So they're going for that style, where the figures are lined up. We're just laying in the bed. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? Yes, yes, see, I like that, because then they just go uninterrupted. How cool is that? Kai, do you like it? I do. Does it make you happy? Yes. Is your favorite Majin Buu final form? No. Oh, and Kai's just in the bed surrounded by comic books and cookbooks. <laughs> just just nerdvana over nerdvana. here. Well, I'm not going to show you everything in Kaya's room because what we do need to do is a full collection video of mine and Kaya's and Natalie's. Mm -hmm. And everybody's got a few more things to put up. Mm -hmm. um, but then we'll do that as its own video. I know everybody's wanted a house tour for a long time. So I think we can do that. Uh, but for now, uh, tomorrow we'll open Marvel Legends, right? Okay. Yeah? Because that's the only thing of your Christmas that we have, don't have a home for yet. Yeah. Look at all those plushies. I know. It's really fun. I just dove into them, and I'm not going to lie. It was a wonderful was feeling. Good. Yeah. So we'll put those Marvel Legends away tomorrow, and uh, we'll figure out what else we're going to do. And uh, But now i got to eat dinner. I haven't ate dinner, and it's 9.46 because I just live streamed for two hours. And I'm hungry. How was your live stream? It was wonderful. Yeah. It smells like chicken outside. You want to come smell the chicken? It, do, it's, it doesn't chicken smell fire. Bad. Actually. Chicken fire, chicken fire, Comes chicken fire, chicken fire, chicken fire. Chicken fire, <laughs> chicken fire. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to y'all tomorrow. It's the next day, and we got to deal with this. 
Natalie's rocking that look right there. The oh. one boot, one boot, <laughs> one boot, one boot look. I was trying on my new work boots. And uh, then I'm I trying to free up that space, but I don't know where we're going to put these Marvel Legends. Are you ready to open Marvel? Mar hey, are you ready to dump mayonnaise all over your head like you just won the Duke's mayonnaise bowl? Like the game cocks and you sell go cocks while mayonnaise is on your head? Uh-huh. Are you ready to open Marvel Legends? I'm ready to open Marvel Legends. Oh, okay. Kaya, you're on camera. Do a little dance. Uh, uh, That's it? it? Yeah, right. Do uh, the Victoria. Victoria! Yeah, there you go. Crystal wall. Crystal wall. All right. Marvel Legends time. Oh, so what do we have? The whole what if wave. We have Kai's favorite character from the new Spider-Man movie, J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> We've got from Uncle Sethi, Obadiah Stane, and the Iron Monger. And then yeah. we have what Kim gave her, which was quite a present. The Marvel Unlimited... Uh, pack from a couple years ago which we'll go ahead and open that first because it has the we are venom box i imagine you're going to keep this box aren't you i am probably going to keep that box it has a couple comics that we'll put in a, a bag and board for you of them we don't know where the bottom board are venom number one with the venomized punisher on the front and black panther number one with venomized black panther I need to get you bag on board. I do not know where a bag board is. We'll leave that there. But the legend that comes in that, still sealed in its baggie, is Venomized Punisher. Yes. Do you like that? Yes, it looks very cool how the Venom logo is mixed with the Punisher logo. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't realize that. I'm just saying, let's, let's whip it out. We'll try to. Where's Miss Skizzers? Where's Miss Skizzers? Oh, they're under there. Kaya just ate half of a cow's own, so if you hear anybody flashing, it's her, not me. Really? You just... Well, you won't say safety. I'll get a doorknob. Kaya actually got doorknob on me yesterday and punched me. It hurt my feelings. I didn't punch you. I, like, gently tapped. So it's a Punisher. I got his tongue is stuck out. Let's see what he's got. That's a lot of guns. Comes with two guns, which hardly anything comes with guns anymore, and a, a bullet clip for... One of the guns. There it goes. It goes in the box and back of that, probably. Does it go on this? Can it also go on this? Does one? it both? Do they each have a black? Um, Two guns. I think it's a uh, And this is a pretty doggone expensive Marvel Legend. You can only get these if you subscribe to Marvel Unlimited, which Kim does every year, so she gets these every year. This these are is, very detailed. So it's Venomized Punisher. What's well, very detailed? The guns? The guns. They have a lot of um, Action Jackson. They need some paint. They have no paint. Just molded plastic. But they still look cool. They still look cool. Are you going to have him dual wield both of those guns? Yes. What if my Venom Comics has him doing that? Dual wielding? Guns, yes. We also have uh, what we picked up in a recent video, hunt video, that I don't know if it's aired yet. The ghost, but oh, I can't reach it. Is that more? From the Plasma series, hand me that. And first we got this, the two-pack, the Target two-pack. Kai enjoyed that movie, and she said, I was going to give this away as part of the B-Dub Fit Challenge. She said, no, I want it. Give it away to me. I never said it like that. Happened. You got poo-poo face, so get... we're going to get her all of this wave. So I've ordered them. GameStop had them for like 40% off. 14 bucks, so they'll be coming in eventually. But only Zedmore's come in so, so far. We'll let her open those up. I'll open up her favorite, J. Jonah Jameson, uh, which... Venom's arms don't want to work. Well, I'll do it. Here, you open J. Jonah Jameson. Um, this is going to be an older figure. Well, I, I don't remember which buck this is, but it is not a good buck. It was a very old, old buck for this Marvel Legend. Um... We had to get J. James Jonah Jameson because the two Marvel Legends line that Kai is collecting are symbiotes and related characters and at least one version of every MCU character. And this is the first J. Jonah Jameson legend they've released. And uh, Venomized Punisher is a symbiote. Okay. Do I take out the Boba figure? Armadillo arm? Yeah, we'll, we'll put that on a, uh, on a whatnot auction. Somebody wants this big armadillo arm. Although, I, this armadillo is probably a cool 
go with the one that will go on a whatnot option. Uh, pull it out. This just says the Daily Bugle. I don't, I don't want to be too loud. You don't want to be too loud for the, for the camera? Yeah. They hurt their feelings? So what head sculpt do you want of the J. Jonah Jameson? So he has like a... Show the people, don't show me. He has um, just a regular like neutral face head sculpt and he has probably a yelling. Snarling, like, oh, snarling. that's Spider-Man. Yes. Which one are you gonna have on him? The snarling? Yes. And then he has what? The pointer finger and a, a fist pointer, and then a... a fist and And then he's got the Finn Balor hands. hands. So you're gonna leave the pointy finger in the fist? I, I think so. Yeah. I like them. All right. And he came with whatever arm that is of the armadillo. Then everything else is the what if wave with the watcher build a figure, Sylvie, that full wave, the Hydra Stomper, and then from Uncle Sethi, Obadiah Stane and Ironmonger. Obadiah Stane, also one of your personal favorites, right? Um. No? Should we save this one for last with the Hydra Stomper and then you can make the Ironmonger and the Hydra Stomper give each other the DDT? That, that actually does seem like That's what you want to do? Cool. Yeah? All right, she's posing them up. Which one do you want me to open while you're doing that? I'm Which one? I know, I, oh, you're done? All yeah. right, well, then hand it to him. Pretty simple, folks. Pretty simple, like, oh, Spider-Man! Ah. Oh, you're done, huh? Uh, about them feet. she got his feet like this. <laughs> That's not exactly done. I don't know where we're going to put these figures because we have no space, but we'll figure that out in a we'll minute. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which four of those seven do you want to open? Oh, four of the seven. Okay. I know you want to open Zombie Captain America. Yes. T'Challa Star-Lord. Okay. It put him in your stack. Okay. You got Zombie Hunter, Spidey, Marvel's Captain Carter, Sylvie. I know you don't want Ice Nebula. Nobody wants to open that one. Dark. You're going to um, open Doctor Strange. Strange. Now you got to pick between Spider Man, Captain Carter, and Sylvie. I love the Loki show, so we're going to go with Sylvie. Oh, a little upset. I figured that Zombie Hunter, Spidey would be. It's because it's not a Tom Holland or an Andrew Garfield or a Tobey Maguire face. You don't like this gentleman's face, huh? No, I just. Poor I liked, this gentleman. I'm sorry, buddy. I like Sylvie. I'm sorry. Do you think we should have him with the unmasked head sculpt or the Spider-Man head sculpt? Um, it depends on how you're gonna pose him. So pose. Um, we gonna pose him like shooting out with the stewit pants. Then I would say that the um. Spider. Yeah, the the masked head sculpt. The masked head sculpt. But then that makes him look the same as all the other Spider-Man. He has a cape. He has Doctor Strange's cape. Are you going to have him eating uh, zombies? Eating zombies? Yeah, like in your dreams. Is he going to eat the zombies' heads? Isn't that just going to turn him into a, a zombie? Or is he like a zombie of the zombies? If you eat zombies, does it turn you into a zombie? It depends on what lore. What? In The Walking Dead, I don't I don't know if you can what eat. version? Well, I don't think they ever eat zombie. I think they try to avoid that. So you mean they... What build a figure piece does he have? That just looks like a big old naked I think it's leg. <laughs> That is a naked leg. Yeah, the build figure's the watcher. All right. I don't know. Maybe I'm unmasked, actually. The unmasked head sculpt on this guy's pretty good. With the... Everybody from the cartoon line having their, like, cartoon. Doctor Strange's cake. Are any of these on the new Tumas bodies? That is a question I'm interested in. Uh, he has pinless arms. It's actually a pretty good mold. His pins and his uh, legs are that's pretty nice. Okay. I bet people will buy that and just use it as a Spider-Man figure too, without uh, the, the cape. Just as a unique Spider-Man figure. It's got good colors. Kind of, he goes into the traditional red and blue at the end of the movie. That's a little lighter than that blue. All right, we're going to fast forward. We're going to get all these things open, and then we'll talk more about them, and Kai will build the watcher. Fast forward. What are the fast forward noises? It's like... <laughs> How's it go? <laughs> You're still telling this. How's it? Tell them how it goes. What noise are you asking about? What are the fast forward noises? I'm not sure. Give me a, a sample. <laughs> like my 
dolphin noises. Go ahead and make that noise too. Want you to go? I the past horror noise was like. <laughs> nope, that ain't it. That's the way the noise sounds, you know? All right. Yeah. These figures are cool, actually. This is maybe the coolest wave of Marvel Legends I've ever opened. They're really nice. Um, <clears throat> but we've had a, uh, an impromptu thing. We're going to have to run out and run around here. Give me the half that knife you tried to stab me with. I did not. Try to stab me with it. So we'll finish opening these when we get back. But we're going to run out and run an errand. So... Of these, which one's your favorite? I really think Zombie Captain America. Zombie Captain America and Captain Carter are both amazing. They're both the pinless, fully double jointed, all their joints. Um, really nice. They have really nice details. This, this has got to be the most money they've spent in a wave of Legends in a long time. And I guess it's because they usually spend more money on the MCU stuff, and these are all MCU characters. But now let's build the Watcher, and then we got to run an errand. So the, the Watcher, like, one of them came with, like, one leg. And then, like, Nebula came with, like, this, and this, and this, and this. It's really unequitable, the amount of parts that they come with. So, let's see. That's his pants, his skirt. Yeah. I can, I did this. Which side does his Action Jackson hang on? So, this, the side that's flowing is his left. All right. So, this thing. That's his butt cheeks. <laughs> Found his butt cheeks. I guess we can put his legs on first. What part are you doing? The head? Yep. Going great. He just got some butt naked legs. Butt booty naked. When I, uh, in my honorable mention, kind of honorable mention for figures of the year, I put that the Eternals wave of Moral Legends was one of the best looking, even if you didn't like the figures, one of the best looking. This is pinless naked Barbie legs, um, which I still hand to. This is a really good way too. <laughs> a really good way. And I understand it won't be for everybody if you weren't into the show or whatever, but it's really good. I do not know where this piece is supposed to go. Um, does Back of his head? Hang on. Does it have any? It was Nebula. Came with all that. Oh, I know. Here. Oh, okay. I see. I don't know if his head's in all the way. I can, I can pop that. it. I can pop it. Yep. I think it's fine. Yep, it's fine. Okay. Then. So this is this side. So he has like one naked arm and then. Yeah, one ulala, one naked. Yeah, and even he's got it. Look, he's got some armpit exposed, so you know which one to put the neck in. Isn't that nice? That's a nice attention to detail, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. It's a necessary attention to detail. So that's that. I mean, is he cool? I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. I don't think that goes in yet. You got to plug him into this. Put this. Oh, in. it goes up. Yeah, and then put that. That probably goes last. Mm. Maybe not. Put this in the booty. Stick it on in there. The watcher. Well, now that I look what you did. Now you got it. You gonna make him wear it without his dress? No. It looks silly then. The proportions are very interesting. Come on now. Oh, we ain't got time for this. Ow. We ain't got time for this. We got to meet somebody somewhere. Opening Marvel Legends. Gonna be late for an appointment. Sorry. Make Miles Morales sad. You want to make Miles Morales sad? No, I, oh, I, I like what Miles that Morales Spider-Man. I'll just make my own one. This is not the easiest thing to do, actually. You're not. You're not incorrect. Oh, the arm! Maybe you're supposed to do it without attaching everything else first. I don't think so. I don't know how you would do it. How would you? How could you get your his dress on otherwise? Oh. We're struggling. We may have to come back to this. Oh dear. I mean, I guess you can, but his legs are going to be a pain in the butt to put on it's with the panties when you just Look. have them in the panties. 
You know what I mean? Okay, so. so do I have it right? Yeah, that's right. Woo, I believe in you, Brian. I don't know if that's in there or not. I think it's in there. It's in there enough. I think it's in there. Should I dress like this for Halloween? That would be a cool costume, but you'd, sure you'd have to shave your head or wear like a bulk cap. Yeah, I don't know that I'm into that necessarily. No. All right, so. And I think this first, and then, and then this cape. drap drapes around it. Yes. I don't know about that. Wait, but then how are you? Gonna... I don't know. That's what I'm trying to see. That's we. That's a confusing. Oh. Yeah, there okay. it is. There it is, Kyle. Now he got his hand up saying, Ooh, yeah, I watch it. Is that what he's saying? Oh, uh, doo doo, McGee. You might actually like. Kind of stick it down in there. Maybe, yeah. Alright. legs, legs. He looks very cool. He does look cool. I'm not sure that we completely have him assembled right yet, because that is not going to stand up, but. It's, it's... We'll figure it out. Oh, there it is. The way that he, like, all swooshes is very pretty. Very pretty. All right, we're going to run out an errand, and we'll come back and finish opening this stuff. Do you want to go on errand with me? Sure. All right, let's go. Oh. Well, we're at GameStop. That's, I mean, we're going to go into GameStop because we're here. We're going to go over here and see if we can get ourselves a little, slip a little surprise. You know, the New Year's yeah. Eve surprise, you slip it into the into the waistband. First time I get to meet her, then we go at crazy. Well, we always act crazy. Look at that. Look at that. This is like the Matrix over it is. here. Oh, look at all that. Oh. Look, we got packages. Oh, packages. Look at that. Hey, look at that. Right, Happy yeah. New Year. Merry yep, Christmas. Yep, Merry Doodog. Christmas. Doodog Clown in the house. Yes, sir. Doodog yeah. Claws right here. It is. Look at all this. That's for David, right? That's David. David right got there, some brother. Rangers. We got a Miles. Yeah. We got it's a, a hot item right here. Ooh, hot. I know y'all wish I had it, but you know. Look, Dudog posted. I said, I'll have that. And he said, yep. And that's the way it go. Hey, that's hey how you do when Dudog's selling, he's selling. He said, come get it. Go Put get it out. out here, yeah. Right, oh, look at those, them ducks. Yeah. Birdies. Oh, is uh, it chickens? By the way, I actually I don't know if I wasn't supposed to open this or what, but anyway, well, that's a little signature April. thing, yeah, right? I didn't oh. know that. I Did you like, sign it yourself too? Nah. <laughs> <It's a> double. <laughs> want to send that off to Beck. That's hilarious. But yeah, I was yeah. like, wow, that's impressive. That's the that. signature. Yeah, well, I was looking Although for it. Although it does look like they just printed some uh, some God, some some little really cheap good. paper. She said she. I feel like Sorry. she a lie. No, I know that's oh, on mine. Yeah, little yeah. April yeah. shit. That's nice, nice doo dog claws. That was doo dog. Do you like when we get to come to doo dog and get action figures suddenly? Yeah. I'll open a Marvel Legends. Since we're here, we'll run into GameStop and uh, see if there's any prizes that we want. Bobby Allen, Omega, Britt Baker. It's that whole wave, isn't it? Yep, whole wave. Oh, here's these guys that I've ordered from GameStop online. I guess I could have just picked up here. All three of them. That'd have been easier. Oh, that's the Heiser Stomper. Mmm, big Stomper. We're about to open him when we get home. Some Rangers. What was 25? Lady J? Yep. JK there. Man, I feel like I'm gonna have to pass gas. There's Harley. I wish I had to find a polka dot man. One more polka dot man. He's hard to find. The leader. You can go look at Switch games for your new Switch. Games. Oh. Be hot. Oh, well, Mario Odyssey. Odyssey. I need it. I just gotta go back to the Why am I tempted to get that gauntlet right there? Oh, look, it's a little version of the statue you have. Yes, yeah, not the same company, but it does look like a little girl. <laughs> Wheel Jack. Who is this? <laughs> cover? Bumblebee. Oh, there was the Dragon Ball 15 Days of Socks. Oh. Huh. Shinron socks. Trunk socks. Piccolo. Bulma socks. Gogeta. Huh. Ty is already, there were trunk socks, yeah. Ty is over here already at the Switch game. She's addicted. She's got 35 Switch games and she's looking at Switch. Are you looking at Overcooked All You Can Eat? Have you ever played Overcooked? I haven't. That's really fun. It's a cooperative couch co-op game. A few couch co-op games. So if you know what couch co-op means, 
Isn't it like you're sitting on the couch with people and you're co co-oping? You know what co-oping means? Isn't it where it's two people? So it, on the same team on as same opposed team to against each other. And you can be on the same system. You don't each have to have your own game or play online. You cook things. It's fun. Minecraft. Nope. Hyrule Warriors, the Age of Calamity. All right, well, we're going to go back. That was you, wasn't it? You did that, it didn't you? It was not. Yes, you did. We got to do it. Got to do it. was not me. Give me an Give me an Hey. Oh, they have it. What do I have to buy to get this? Xbox Series, Far Cry 6, NBA 2K22, Call of Duty Vanguard, and a $50 GameStop gift. How much are so how much is the Xbox by itself? But that is just sitting. That is a Series X. Just sitting there. Disc based. That's this guy, I believe. Well, that was unexpected. Hmm. Hmm. Ladies! Feast your eyes on this set! All right. That was an unexpected set. We got to finish opening up the Marvel Legends. Then we got to move on to the new sack. New sack. Huh? He has fabric suits. That's yeah. Cool. yeah. Real quick, this is what David bought from Doo Dog, which is cool. Mm -hmm. And we did get that April. And then I bought the Sentinel into the Spider Verse Miles Morales. Woo! Thanks to Doo Dog for meeting us real quick on New Year's Eve to get our stuff. Thank All right. you. Marvel Legends, let's do it. Yay! Woo! Where you at? Come on, get you open. Oh. The watcher fall over. And it, um, Why'd you rip his naked arm out? I did it. Come on, Nebula. Come on, Nebula. Come on, Nebula. We're having a little bit of difficulty. Technical difficulties? There we go. All right, so we've got left to open Hydra Stomper and uh, Obadiah Stain. Here, hand me Obadiah. From Uncle Sethi, and we have the the uh, two Ghostbusters, which three of the other ones were there. But now I gotta wait for them to come in from GameStop. Although they would have been twenty two ninety nine there, and they were like fourteen online. And where we're gonna put these, child? Obadiah Stane, one of Kai's favorites, along with the J. Jonah Jameson. I had to balance her, like on her. Ah! Toes. Oh, it's Nerdy Magazine Day. What? Huh? Oh, don't worry about that. My bad. Oopsies. Here. Get him out. Which one? Both of them. Oh. I'm getting out the Hydra Stomper. Who do you think is going to win in a fight? Do you think that because I got a new Xbox that you now have gotten a, a, a new Xbox to you? Do you think that's what's going to happen in this video? I, I don't know. Do you think you deserve an Xbox from your performance cleaning up the symbiote that was in the garage? That you left out there from your poo poo? I don't know what that was. He's a, this is a big old beefy boy right here. <laughs> wow. That they, is a heavy action figure. I think he might be the same size as. As a monger, maybe. I gotta imagine this Hydra Stomper is a favorite of a lot of people. We have sold a couple on the Whatnot app on. Double D collectible five for well below retail price. Some people have gotten some steals. Join David and I. In fact, as you're watching this, we just would have had a pretty big whatnot sale on Friday. We have a big one coming up. If you'll follow us there on whatnot, you'll see. David will post when we've got sales, and I'll post it on my social medias. Big plastic, can't get his arm out. It's a llama made from potatoes. Now, it is New Year's Eve, and I'm not sure what I said earlier in this video, but there was a time where we planned to have company over for New Year's Eve. Uh, Victoria was supposed to be here. Tim and Mike were probably going to come over. Maybe David, James, Megan. Uh, but it's a it's been a yucky couple days here. Really bad, nasty rain and fog. And um, a lot of people don't feel well. So it's not the safest time to drive. I'll help you. I got one leg. I'll help you. I'll help you. Here, you can put him to go. Uh, hang on. 
a trip. Outside. And so uh, David and Megan may end up coming over, but I think for the most part, it'll just be us. As we wrap up the sale on New Year's Eve, and we'll have New Year's Eve as a family. Yeah. Well, the pieces of them that was like a clip on. No, Ironmonger actually may be bigger. Yeah, Monger's a, good, a decent size bigger. I bet they're sharing some, just put it on the ground. I bet they're sharing some parts. I don't know though, Ironmonger's are pretty unique. Oh, dog DDT! These are cool. What's that, his guns? Yeah. I don't know, it was clipped on the, the back of him and it These are nice figures. Back when I was buying Marvel Legends all the time and tried to have all the Iron Man, I'd have been real happy about these two big boys. I don't do that anymore. All right, so, well here, I'll give you back the Iron Monger then so you can equip him. Do you like it that J. Jonah Jameson has a tie on? Yeah. I think he's a handsome gentleman. Oh, I'm sorry. Obadiah Stane with his suitcase. Who do you think is handsomer, J. Jonah Jameson or Obadiah Stane? Um, can I settle for the... Uh, Isn't that suit? Choose not to answer the question option. Trunks? Do you think Trunks is... Now, now that's the question. Or Beerus? Is that suit or Trunks? Or Beerus? Oh, the answer is obviously Trunks. Look at all the Trunks memorabilia you have. How good bit is Zanetsu? You haven't bought a Zanetsu thing in like six months since you met Trunks. He just got discarded. He's your ex. He's not my ex. He's your ex. He's your ex. Where does this go? I don't know. Oh. So this is his backpack. Just goes like this, right? And where are these? Oh, wait. Hang on. I think it... Oh, this? The clip on? Does it go on to this? Oh, I think it goes on the stickers. Yeah, he goes Oh, you make fingers. his finger guns? <laughs> finger guns. No, no, that's no good. Uh -uh. <laughs> nope, we're not going to talk about that. Uh-uh. No, well, ma'am. What's mm -mm. wrong with them? Nope. Uh, do we want him to have his repulsor? Oh, those fire off his, uh, right here, yeah. Okay. Right here. There's this, like, swooshy effect. Yeah? Um, there's bullet. That looks to be falling. Oh, yeah, bullet effect? That's cool. Yes, I'm sure. They look like they're like falling. Oh, your monger set's a good set. Uh, again, that was from a present from Seth, Uncle Seth. And I think I remember in his video, he was able to find those deep discounted at Target. Because that's an expensive set. It's like a $70 set. That's a good, good pickup for uh, it's not that price. So what's this? Yeah, this is like bullets coming out. He's got open hands. The hands have... Oh! You can put his machine gun on his fingers. That. That's pretty cool. Yeah. What he is this thing? A blasty effect you can put in his foot. We're not going to do that. I'm so pretty be sure. Impossible to pose, yes. You put it in his foot. This I don't is an know arc reactor. Like. I wonder if Obi-Wan is supposed to hold the arc reactor. Yeah, he comes in the arc reactor and in the packaging it was by him, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah. He holds it like he when he rips it. It'd be neat if they made it so that this glowy part. That? Yes. Yeah, it'd be cool. Alright. This is a very deep oh. What happened? You break it? No, look. See this? Yes. It actually moves. Oh, all the little engineering actually works. That's pretty neat. That That's is a good figure. Very That's a good figure. Alright, let's get these Marvel Legends in their home and then we'll open up the uh Ghostbusters. Before we go any further, we're going to open these off camera, but I wanted to show you a close up Zedmore proton pack with the beam. It comes with Winston has the arm, left arm of the Sentinel Terror Dog. Now, this two pack, which looks really cool with the buttons, no, it doesn't tell us. I think that's an alternate Terror Dog head for either the pl first Plasma Series Builder figure or like a STCC. And then that way, if you use that, you can have both of the Terror Dogs from the first Ghostbusters. Because oh. I think the original Builder figure just had one of them. I think that's what that's for. All right. Uh, let us open these, get them on display, then we'll show you where everything lives. Okay. So that's going to be our little Ghostbusters shelf, at least for the time being. We got to wait on the other one, two, three, four, five figures and the Builder figure to come in. But then that'll look good. And then... Sylvia snuck in right there. 
J. Jonas Jameson's up front. We obviously already need to rearrange this MCU display. Punisher's up there. And then the What If guys and Obadiah are down there because there's just no room until we rearrange to fit them up there. We'll have to do some, a lot of rearranging, but we wanted to get them open and on display, so there they go. Now, Xbox time. Ooh, do you think you're gonna get an Xbox out of this? I hope. Pat your head. Pat, rub your head. Touch your head. <laughs> Touch your head. Rub, rub your head. Oh wait, it already knows you're Kaya. Some rearranging of my pieces. Rearranging? Rearranging. One final haul in it post picture for Instagram of the year. Uh, thank to Andrew for that. Those are the games you had to buy. So you bought this, those three games, and a fifty dollar gift card. And uh, so it's fine. It's fine. One more haul in it. We got Kaya's account set up. That Xbox is going upstairs. This one's going here. Somebody got an Xbox and Animal Crossing Wii or Switch, not Wii. I just passed gas. Oh, that's right. bad. I'm sorry. That's bad, bad. Oh. Natalie just ran away. She didn't like the flatulence. I actually didn't smell it. This one works. Now I got to see if the new one works for, for me. For, for me. For me, little one. For me. Hmm. We're going to put that connect up in a whatnot auction, I believe. And that wireless charging. You'll probably win uh, some sort of prize if you buy it. What are you doing? Playing with toys? Maybe. Just playing with toys. I am. We'll get up. I'll give you a little review of where Natalie's collection looks right now, which looks wonderful. Looks wonderful. But we're not quite ready to do a full update of all of our collection stuff. But soon, soon, soon. All right, back to the Xbox. All right, let's see if we got it. I have it labeled Xbox Series X. Did it just turn itself off? Come on, baby. Kick them daisies. Look at them girls with the... Uh... Hey! Oh. No. Yes. Yes. All right, so I gotta follow some app instructions. Let me get that action done, then we'll check in and rub it. Oh yes, Xbox, yes, the TV does support advanced video features. That's correct. Hooray! Look at that big chunky boy over there. Well, everything's working good. Now I just sit through one million hours of installing and queuing and yeah, that's not gonna happen swiftly, but that's okay. But I think that'll wrap up this uh, not the not the most exciting New Year's Eve episode of Double Life, but I I'm with my exciting. girls that I love, and that makes it the best. So, uh, unfortunately, again, the weather's been really bad, and so nobody was able to make it, and that's fine. Uh, it's still only seven thirty, so we got a long time left of our oh my New goodness. Year's. You thought it was late? I did. Yeah, no, it's early. So we'll get something to eat and uh, relax. Probably watch Star Wars. Uh, we're on to Episode mm -hmm. Seven. Force Awakens, might play some video games and what have you. And there's more fun to continue this weekend, uh, but you'll just have to find out about that. Maybe a few dub challenges upcoming in the next oh. episode of Dub Life. You know what that means. Until then, what should they do? Squeeze it! Woo!